How to Create Low EMF Design in New Construction New construction of a building is always a major financial investment and requires detailed planning. Many trades are involved and need to be coordinated. Many questions need to be answered. How is the building supposed to look from the outside? What design and style is followed inside? What appliances are going where? What kind of heating and ventilation system is installed? The list is endless and overwhelming. Just getting the construction permits can keep one busy for days. Each trade has its own focus and codes or trade standards to follow. The future building owner is best advised to make all the necessary decisions during the planning phase to help create a low EMF design in new construction and maintain a healthy indoor environment for their future residential or commercial building. The building materials and interior installations, such as floor coverings and built-in cabinetry, can have a direct impact on the indoor air quality. The design of the electrical system and placement of appliances and control panels will determine the future levels of EMF fields present in the building in the different areas. Consultation with an experienced EMF RF professional can make creating low EMF and RF environment really simple if no major outdoor sources are present. One just needs to follow a well-designed plan, avoid sources for occupied and sleeping environments, and verify that the proper installation of the electrical and communication system is performing to specifications. If outdoor sources are present, an assessment can identify the type and its levels. This can be done by conducting on-site spot measurements, grid patterns over the property lot, or long-term monitoring of value at maximum and average exposure levels. The main outdoor low frequency sources, let's call it EMF, are power lines, substations, and transformers. The main high frequency sources, let's call it RF, are cellular antennas, radio and TV broadcasting, and adjacent Wi Fi sources. To create a low EMF RF indoor environment, consider the power supply and certain point sources will always create higher fields in their proximity but the fields will drop with distance significantly. Thus, the location and the design of the power supply, such as the main service drop, the breaker panels, and main lines inside the buildings is pivotal. With respect to the incoming external power supply, the vicinity to power or local distribution lines and step-down transformers is of importance. Further consideration needs to be given to the effect of recessed lighting, especially on the floor above. For the electrical fields portion, a prudent choice of conduits or BX armored cables will eliminate electrical fields from the electrical system of the building. After moving in, the electrical fields from power extension cords are eliminated through the use of shielded power and extension cords. The communication and entertainment system is where the sources for indoor RF fields are. Routers and cordless phones are placed for convenience of use. Unfortunately, we frequently encounter unnecessary exposure in sensitive areas such as nurseries, bedrooms, or workplaces. A good planning goes a long way and all indoor RF installations and sources can be located away from areas with long-term exposure. Wireless is a wonderful invention, but is not always the best solution. Frequently, hardwired computers or partially hardwired systems also perform better with larger amounts of data. Specifications for phone systems, internal routers, cordless phones, and appliances can keep your indoor RF exposure at necessary minimum and even eliminate it in sensitive areas such as your work areas and bedrooms. All of the above considerations are not part of the regular construction planning and therefore are mostly not taken into account. The experienced EMF RF consultant will give input and will help you in communicating with the different trades involved. Frequently, solutions are achieved through alteration and can actually be improvements for future use. We can be the bridge between the individual trades and will assist keeping your goal for a low EMF RF indoor environment in check during the planning process. We can help you create your low EMF design in new construction and maintain a low EMF RF environment. The recipe to a successful completion is following a systematic process in designing, executing, and verifying the achievement of the design goals. The steps for low EMF RF consultation and development of an installation plan consist of Assessment of low and high frequency background levels present on the property 
Develop and design according to your benchmarks for sensitive areas. Design systems, prudent placement, and shielding concepts. Retain a qualified electrician to verify proper electrical installation and grounding system. Shielding implementation by a qualified craftsman. Commission of the electrical and communication system. Measurements to confirm compliance to your benchmarks. Certification of the site or building. For inquiries about the assessment or design of a low EMF and RF environment in your new building, and for all EMF shielding services, please call EMF RF Solutions at 760-942-9400 or email us at info at emfrf.com.